Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on here? I know who it is. This is your boy that kind of the here. And today I just wanted to talk about some tricks that I have found playing Resurgence and Big Math uh, Warzone kind of religiously for the past couple of weeks. Um, if you guys didn't know, I'm usually a multiplayer guy playing on mouse and keyboard, but recently I switched over to Warzone, just grinding it out on controller. And here are some things that uh, I've learned compared to like play multiplayer. Now, if you're coming from multiplayer going over into Warzone, you might be very frustrated, especially if you're like me, if you play like TDM domination, you know, just pub modes. Um, you really can't just run around mindlessly and try to get kills. This is not how this uh, game mode works. You really have to be thinking about your engagements. And one habit that I really had like very bad was chasing kills, right? Um, with out even breaking somebody right just chasing kills not thinking about what's going to happen if i bust through this room right are there going to be all three of them just stacking on top of each other sitting there waiting for me that's like one of the biggest habits i had to uh break and then being situationally aware like around what's going on um what i mean by that is you're in a 1v3 or 1v2 and you're trying to win the gunfight, but you are down one. Um, just knowing what cover you can run to, looking around like, okay, if I get pushed here, I have to run over here. If I get pushed from this way, I have to run this way. And then if they get pushed and this, there's three of them, I just have to completely run away and try to finesse and find openings. Uh, biggest thing, finding openings when it comes to um, getting kills like say if you're getting chased you turn around you take the 1v1 or they split off enough or it's just completely stacking and you have to completely run um away like how far do you run right like these are all things that come into play when it comes to playing resurgence and i'm gonna say this right now you guys aren't gonna get better camping you're not gonna get better camping you kind of have to go in there get yourself into situations to where you have to uh you know you have to play differently right you have to play dynamically i would say you have to learn how to play fast and really slow and then fast again and then really slow it, it's something that i struggle with and i am still struggling with um when to play fast when to play slow when to push when not to push these are all things that you just have to get into the game and learn and just be situationally aware like high iq plays what is that right a uh, high iq play is something a really really smart play like reading the situation around you and making the correct play and you're not going to be good at it when you first start but trust me give it time you'll become really really good um also another thing that i had to bite the bullet on is just mouse and keyboard right a like mouse and keyboard in warzone is just at an astronomically huge disadvantage and like for most of us out there who don't play this game 12 hours a day on mouse and keyboard right for like three months straight it's not our job uh we are going to be falling behind someone that is just casually playing on controller because aim assist yes is that strong like it's not that you suck at mouse and keyboard you just don't have the time in and to grind out mouse and keyboard right so when it comes to warzone specifically um i switched over to controller exclusively now when it comes to multiplayer i still find that mouse and keyboard still has a shot right when it comes to other fps shooters battlefield um we have x defiant like all those other games those are multiplayer based games your life doesn't really matter that crazy when you're playing pubs so it doesn't matter too much but whereas like on warzone you are going up against sweaty players right you're going up against you versus the other team and it's just something that you have to realize like hey do i want to grind and put in you know the 8 to 12 hours a day to become really proficient at mouse and keyboard just to keep up with like a casual controller player and even then that casual controller player could win the gunfight because if you miss one bullet it's all rng like you don't have perfect aim all the time you can strive to have perfect aim all the time but it's not going to be perfect all the time whereas if you're playing on a controller you have that assistance there and that will help you out even more um and that will help
become a better player i would say because you don't really have to focus on your aim that much like mouse and keyboard you have a lot of things going on on controller you don't have that many things going on that you could focus solely on how to outplay somebody and uh the aiming will just come naturally right whereas on mouse and keyboard you have to focus on okay your target's moving there's just a lot of things going on that you have you know be situationally aware and become like I don't even know how to pull it, but you just got so many things. You got to be really good at multitasking on mouse and keyboard and not saying that I'm the worst. I just don't have the time anymore to put into Warzone to become a more proficient mouse and keyboard player as I did when like COVID was going on and all those things. So another thing is learning how tick rates work and how to break your camera or how to break your enemy's camera um and movement specifically now when i talk about movement i'm not talking about these yy demons useless movement i'm talking about useful movement there's a difference between useless movement and useful movement and that is optimizing your movement your path that you are taking in order to uh win an engagement or outmaneuver your opponent right a lot of these people are just breaking uh camera angles on bots and a lot of the times that will not work on a good more proficient player because he's not going to let you break the camera or he's going to break your camera or you guys are both going to break each other's camera stuff like that so it's just something that you have to learn look at really good players look at biffle shifty uh ahsoka look at allman noobs destroy um all those guys like when they're playing in custom tournaments um that is going to help you out a lot and another thing is try to get yourself into some custom tournaments if you want to really really get good uh you'll you'll open your eyes and see how like trash like pub players are pretty much right and how just elite these players are um there's a site called uh my dojo that you can go in and enter into some of these tournaments and you'll go against really good players right and that's just something that you're going to get better at over time have to face somebody that's better than you you don't always want to be facing noobs all the time yeah it's cool when it comes to content but having somebody at your skill level or above your skill level it's just going to push you even harder to get better at the game and that is just something that you are going to have to take it upon yourself and learn from your mistakes against a good player and that's going to make you overall a better player right so it's just like a back and forth type of thing I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comment section below what other type of content you guys want to see. As always, remember, stay blessed and stay humble, guys. And I'll catch you in another video. Peace.